What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Of course, you know it's your boy B-Hop Radio Shout in. As always, I got my podcast partner in the building with me. OG Gangsta Wicked. Big Galaxy of big, Ghetto Mafia. Big Galaxy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, you just, you know what? <clears throat> I got something for you today, though. Mm-hmm. See that? I yeah. mean, what now? You talk about you got something for somebody. You know, <laughs> Shannon Sharp had something for everybody when they just announced that he left undisputed with Skip Bayless to go and do his own thing now. I know, and then when I when I woke up, I had sent you a message because I saw that it's, um, I'm looking at what you sent me. Yeah. And I'm seeing, somebody else has sent me uh, something that says, I saw, well, I saw it on Instagram that Charles Barkley announced his, his retirement. But I had just woken up from you sending me that early, early, early bird special morning Message and yeah. I read it wrong. Uh-huh. I thought it said Charles Barkley retired. Uh-huh. It said he spoke about his retirement. So what Charles Barkley said that in two years he's gonna retire. He's through with TNT. Damn. But yeah, that's another thing. But uh, when I when I saw the thing about Shannon Shaw, two things came to my mind immediately. What? The first thing was. How much of a hater you are? Oh hell no! Nah. Yeah, yeah, because because you, because it. I thought about when you sat right here and looked me in my eyes and said that Skip should have jumped across the table and slapped Shannon. <laughs> and I t- and I told you I said I said, said, I said that. that's exactly what you said. Talk about uh, you know. I said, uh, uh, Sh- uh, Skip would have got his back broke. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shannon is Skip an ex- got that old man strength. <laughs> Shannon, you know that old man Shannon, strength right there. Shannon got with. NFL strength. <laughs> Shannon got NFL strength. But on a serious note, though, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, for, for those that don't know uh, with Shannon, I kind of got down on Shannon for a minute. What? And I'm going to tell you why. It all goes back. You're going to have to stay with me. I'm right. Remember when we brought Kwame Brown in here? That's right. Mama's cooking. Yeah. And he was going at the well, other I'm guy. Well, Kwame. Yeah. Right. Okay? Now, I'm a huge fan of both of those shows. I don't want to say their names because, you know, they, but uh, where Skip Bayless, he was with, you know, Steve first. Yeah. So, um, I always felt like Steve was like, you know, you know, like, you know, Buck dancing, you know what I'm saying, for the whole, for the for the for the the company, for Skip, mm. and different things. And Kwame felt the same way. Okay. A lot of athletes felt the same way that that you know that he was always talking about taking their money. They don't need to be paid. <laughs> Speaking out against you know yeah, the people athletes. that look like us. Yeah, basically. basically. Yeah. Okay. So now when that got broken up and Skip went on to FS1. Yeah. And Shannon came. I knew Shannon from all the NFL shows, but I wasn't a huge fan because of the the, the show itself. Yeah, I was always kind of a Fox guy with Bradshaw, them, yeah. Jay Brown. You know, that was my thing. That's right. Um, so I had to, I, you know, my Shannon is a Georgia boy. That's right. So my opinion of him was still kind of out. I did know he had to give a gab when he first got with Skip. Yeah. So I said, you know, this could work when I'm watching him. Because I was just like everybody else. When he left Steve, I was like, you know, I didn't think Steve or Skip was going to be able to make it. They were going to yeah. get, you know, it's hard to get that person that exactly. person you have chemistry with all the way. Yeah. You can get 80% chemistry and you get 90%. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's hard to get 100. Come on. So... I didn't know if either one would survive the breakup originally. But when Skip got Shannon, I said, okay. You know, mm-hmm. after a few weeks, I said, you know what? I messed with Uncle Shea. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Now, fast forward, there was an episode that they had, uh, Skip and Shannon, mm-hmm. and where um, they were talking about Tom Brady. Mm, I remember that episode. Okay. Now, uh, if y'all don't know about it, y'all go y'all can go Google that and then come back to me and comment. Um, so, Shannon was only saying that at the time. I mean, Tom Brady was three and seven. Yeah, <clears throat> Shannon was saying that he's not playing well mm-hmm. because you know with Shannon, if you're playing well, I, I show you love. If you if you if you're not performing. I got to talk about you, too, and I don't care if you don't want seven uh, Super Bowls. I don't care if you want six MVPs in basketball whatever. If you're not playing well, I'm going to call it like I see it. That's us Georgia boys. That's right. It's a Southern thing. Come on now. You understand what I'm saying? So, choke, yeah, it's a Southern thing. That's what we do down here. So, yeah, I got your message. I got your message. Anytime you want, you come up here. You know what I'm saying? 
I'm gonna tax you. It's gonna cost you. <laughs> now, like I was saying, now I got a referee, y'all Negroes. And, but and, 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 it ain't even gonna be a fight. It's not even a fair fight. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But I, I, I get him with one hand behind my back. You know what I'm saying. You know, just <laughs> rabbit, rabbit punch. But um, anyway, so he's saying uh, he's saying that when 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 Shannon said something about Tom Brady, Skip went straight into attacks on Shannon. Now, th- yeah. th- this is me and you just like right now. We're talking about this. And if I say, well, you know, Skip was wrong, and you say, well, we, you ain't tell more Ams than Lil Wayne. I mean, what the hell is that got to do with anything? You know what I'm saying? We got to do with anything. That's right. So, and that's how he came at Shannon, talking about, well, you just jealous. You were never, you were, you were, you weren't half as good as uh, Brady, and, you know, and just, you know, an attack just yeah. went off. And to me, it had a, a racial undertone to it. Uh, I said that to you. That's that's it, it reminded me of, and I don't think. And let me tell you something: racial racial attacks and 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 prejudice is not just white on black. I they are black on black. What I call black on black crime. Yeah. And I call there's some black men I call black nicks. You know, you yeah. got a red neck. Yeah. And you got a black neck. Umar call them they, Negro peons. Yeah, yeah. They call them black nicks, and they're yeah. the same as if you dealing with the other side. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. So I always go on Kindle Spirit. You can be Kindle Spirit and be white. I got white friends that act just like me. Exactly. You know what I'm saying. I got black friends that act just like you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> black <laughs> necks. <laughs> right. Black, black, black necks. Black necks. You, <laughs> you you probably born better with red necks. Red ain't black necks. Y'all be out there cooling, don't you? Yeah. yeah some boss. Yeah. Some <laughs> you get the fish and pole. Do you want to get the fish and pole balls? But um, anyway, let me let me stay, let me let me stay on track now. Now, when he said that, it had that 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 undertone to me, but I let it go. Uh, you see what I'm saying? Fast forward to that. There was an incident when Buffalo and Cincinnati were playing football. Yeah. And Demar Hamlin on the field, he had collapsed. Yeah. Now a lot of us, we already know this. A lot of them know this, but but this is I'm talking and breaking it down for the people that don't know, they so don't they can know. go Google it. Yeah, he played for the Buffalo Bills. He was the safety. That's right. He almost died on, on the, the field. field yeah. Right. So it, they postponed the game for maybe about thirty minutes until they got him up. They got him, you know, off. I mean, this man heart had actually stopped. They had he to resuscitate yeah. him on the field. Yeah. So the NFL. After they, he went off the field, they paused the game for about 30, 45 minutes to decide whether they should suspend the game right then and there. Yeah. Right? Or continue to play it. But it was so quiet in there. And and and, and Gre- they're in Cincinnati. They're not even in Buffalo. And the Cincinnati fans were in the stands crying yeah. and, and, and have them um, left. And yeah. nobody wants to see that. Exactly. No matter what color you are. Exactly. So um, Skip comes out with a tweet. Later that night, saying, "How can the NFL suspend the game? Uh, uh, it's messed up. They, you know, how they gonna make up this game? They shouldn't have suspended it." Basically, that was his stance on everything. Mm-hmm. When a man just was laying down, and just died on the field. The next day, Shannon Sharp did not come to work. Yeah, right. And everybody was thinking that maybe he was gonna quit. Then that's why I say, "Stay with me." And I'm yeah. gonna tell you what. Why I'm so proud of him. He didn't come to work the next day, so it's speculation that he, you know, that was the last straw yeah. from the, the Brady straw when you when you sat there and said the man wasn't good and he's a three-time Super Bowl champion. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Greatest tight end of all time. And, and, arguably. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I still like Gonzalez, you know what I'm saying? But um, <laughs> but you but but okay, so I give you the benefit of the doubt on that first one. So now when you tweet this right here, Shannon Sharp don't come to work the next day, I'm thinking to myself with Shannon Sharp, that's it. The, that, that's the final straw right there with Shannon. Mm-hmm. Those are two public things that we see. We don't know what he don't say it Bad. in the lunchroom yeah. when they in the cafeteria getting preparing for the show. Yeah, this is what we know. So a couple of days, you know, the day after that, Shannon wind up coming back. Mm-hmm. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, well. Maybe Shannon coming back. You know, he does have to fulfill a, com- a contract. There's an obligation. Yeah. You know, there might be money to be forwarded. So I'm giving Shannon the benefit of the doubt because, you know, a guy a guy in Shannon's position that that's already a multi multi millionaire. Yeah. Uh, has made a hundred million dollars off football. Yeah. Probably ain't even spending the checks that they giving him right. They still into his football money. Yeah. 
he can afford to walk away. Now I couldn't afford to walk away from you as you said that. You know, so, matter of fact, a lot of stuff you have said to me, I wanted to walk so away. So you've been under duress the whole time. Yeah, but then when my, when I look at my bank account, I no, say, you know what, man, let me walk back in here and just and just hold my tongue. But anyway, so I'm thinking when Shannon comes back. Uh, that when, when he when he leaves, I'm thinking that he's gone. But he comes back, so I get a bit of a doubt. When he comes back, they get into an argument because Skip wants to talk. When 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 uh, when Shannon is talking, he says something to the effect that you know they talked about the tweet because it was a big old thing. Yeah. So that, that's what they were two was addressing that morning because yeah. it was the elephant in the room. So uh, he says, you know, well, you know, Skip said this right here, you know, man to man. I wish he would have took it down. Skip just jumping in right there. He said, I wish he would have took it down. He ain't said, you know, I, you know, you got to take it down. You're forbidden. I don't mess with you. You know, he was telling how he felt about the tweet. That's why yeah. he didn't come that day because he felt like he may have said something that was out of pocket. I can respect that. Yeah. Skip should have been able to respect that. Yeah. But there goes that underlining thing again. You see what I'm saying? How dare you sit here and check me? You understand what I'm saying? I gave you the chance. That's how. I, that's what I took from Skip because mm. he jumped right in on. You go back and look at this video and how how he how you know dug in Skip was and how you how dare you say this to me on national television? I ain't taking nothing down and wouldn't let Shannon talk. Now, this is the part that I'm proud of Shannon about. Mm. I lost confidence in Shannon after that. Mm. Because they went six months after that. This has been this has been six months ago. Yeah. So during the time after after him and uh, Skip got into it, and I saw the pain and the hurt in Shannon's face mm. when Skip did it that second time right there yeah. when that man on died on that football field. Yeah. And then you come in and say, "I ain't taking nothing down." Brace it. Felt like he was saying, "I ain't taking nothing down." Uh. That's how I felt. He, what he really wanted to say. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And so for Shannon to sit there and still do the show with him for six months, I started losing respect for the show. Even though I was a, I'm a huge fan of Shannon Shaw. Yeah. I get a lot of my material from Shannon. When I'm looking at TV, I polish my skills yeah. looking at Shannon Shaw and yeah. some of the others. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking to myself week by week that maybe, you know, maybe Shannon is like the first guy. Maybe he's a he's a black nick. You understand what I'm saying? Maybe maybe he's he's tap dancing like you. You know about tap dancing. But I don't tap dance. <laughs> well, for nobody. <laughs> well, I'm thinking maybe that you and him was in the same class, and y'all, <laughs> and so y'all had a lot of similarities in your game. Uh uh. uh, uh. And so when I woke up this morning, and you sent me that. Uh. It made me check myself. Mm. I said, you know what I said? I said this is a lesson too. Guys like me and you, other other uh, people that look like us or don't look like us, but are the same kindle spirits, that because it could have been reversed. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Don't put your wood in your wallet, if you know what I'm saying. What the word I really want to say? <laughs> That's what OG <laughs> Star always told me. Yeah. Do not put your stick in your wallet. Yeah. And so now I see the game. I said, you know what? The whole time. He wanted to. His emotions could have got the best of him. That's something we can all learn. Yeah. Not to let your emotions get the best of you. Yeah. You know, if you if you're living with a woman and it's in dead in the middle of winter, don't run out the house with your drawers on because you upset <laughs> and you ain't got a key to get back in or a car. Because you don't want to run it back out there two minutes when that hole hits you. <laughs> exactly. Whatever you was arguing about, you're gonna be like, baby, you were right. You were right. It's cold out here. Correct. Yeah. So uh, that's how I looked at it. With, that's how I looked at it with Shannon. I said, you know what? Everything that he did was strategic. Mm. He had he had he had obligations to fulfill. He has a family to think about. He has people that that that, that we wake up every day to see him. So I so now I see that he said, you know what? I'm gonna fulfill this contract, mm. not because of this. Person, mm. but because of the beehives, the wickets, the you know the, the 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 people, the millions in the world that wake up and I make their day and they live through me, mm -hmm. even though I don't want to be up here, mm. and that was take sacrifice. Yeah, because I used to read comments when after that happened with him and Skip, there were people that you know that looked like us that was calling him sellout. Mm. You know how could you go back to that? Yeah, he sat there and said, you know, disrespecting your face. It said you weren't nothing. You was trash. How could you go back there? But he showed me I could go back there because I'm thinking about everybody but myself. Yeah, if it was just about me, if 
If it wasn't about wicked getting up and seeing me and learning from me and be high and, and the millions and the millions, then it was just only about me, then I would have walked away right then in that second. But sometimes it's just not about you or me. It's about people that live through us. So the times that I don't feel like getting up, that I'm tired, that I don't do a show all night, and I still got to get up in here at 9 o'clock in the morning yeah. and come in here and do this show, and I ain't even been to sleep. Mm -hmm. That ain't just for me. I can easily say, no, that's for the people. The time you have to. Yeah. I know it's times where I don't talk to you and you just cuss me out <laughs> five minutes before, and I know you're tired because you don't sat here, did nine <laughs> interviews. I mean, people don't even know the half of the work you do. Yeah. And no, to we still be able to come in here, turn the camera, Wrong and act like you ain't that you've been uh, you know in Hawaii on the beach for yeah. the last two months. Yeah, and, and I be I be shocked sometimes. I be like, when that camera come on, be how can just turn that you thing on. That thing on. You, you see what I'm saying? See when you when you like that be it's not just about you. Yeah. Oh hell no. You understand what I'm no. saying? So I'm gonna leave it at that right there and let you talk and tell you how I feel about it. But I'm proud of Shannon. Uh, and I learned a lot from him, and not just from his commentary, but how to handle situations when I'm really hot. Do not think with my emotions. Now, answer me this. I mean, do you think Shannon left because, you know, he wanted to leave, or do you think he just got a better situation and a better offer someplace else, and uh, FS1 didn't match the offer, and then Shannon going to wind up over there on ESPN? Absolutely not. Shannon Sharp is the, is, is the number one uh, commentator of us. Uh, that show killed the other one on mm -hmm. the other channel. Everybody that watched the first one, like, you know, most people like this one much better. Yeah. Despite Skip. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, it was because of Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sharp moves the needle. But that's we, what I'm saying. You don't think that... It might have been a case of sh folks realizing that he moved the needle and then they offered him more money to go someplace FS1 else. FS1 would have, it's only been seven years. FS1 would have matched that. Yeah. They would have matched that. It, it, it wasn't that. It, it's from tension. You can go pull up all the publications. You don't, I, you don't even have to pull up what people say. You've seen it. If, you, if anybody out there will tell you, if they follow that show, mm -hmm. they will tell you that it's, it's been tension from day one. Skip has said so many backhanded compliments that I sometimes be sitting there like, and I could tell Shannon a grimace. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because I read between the lines of stuff. Yeah. I, I have went to a school back in the day. It was called Stone Mountain. Uh -huh. And I went to this school when they used to have to bust us in from Columbia High School where, where it was only 15 of us, my color, in a school with all white folks. Okay, you and y'all was saying? dressed in suits and y'all had those I'm a man no, signs they just, outside. No, they used to be like out there saying, they, they used to be out there saying, brother, go home. That's what I That's what I came from. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So I know, I know the, 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 the backhand compliments from, uh, from any side. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say it's not just even that side from my own people. Come on. You see what I'm saying? So, um, there were plenty of times I have watched this show and I've have heard this. And I'm like, oh, that, oh, that hurt. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And I know, and I can see Shannon, you know, hold itself. Yeah, and try to laugh it out, skip you crazy. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But it, it it hit right at the core of stuff. Um, anytime that there's an athlete and there's something got to involve in his money. You know, uh, he don't deserve that money. You know, that person don't deserve that money. You ain't going to hear Shannon's, but you'll hear the other side. You know, Skip saying that. You know, how you going to speak on a man's money? Yeah, you can't but say nothing about it. But anytime money. somebody look like you, you we don't. We need to talk about that country. Yeah. You, you understand what I'm yeah. saying? So um, my thing was with Shannon, I think it was, it was thought out. Don't get me wrong. There probably is a, a another situation somewhere, but – he had the foresight to be able to wait till that situation arose before yeah. he, well, he could have walked out that day yeah. without a situation. So even if he said, you know what, I'm not even though I want to even though I want to break his back right now and walk <laughs> out of here, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna start. It, it's just like when you got a job. Yeah. You can get mad at your at your boss or your or your um, whoever is over you and walk out off your job that day. Yeah. But a smart person will do what? Get on the computer and find me a job first. I can't wait till I get me a Come job. Because time I get this job, I'm leaving. I'm out of here. You yeah. see what I'm saying? That's the smart thing to do. Yeah. So yeah, he may do have a, a, a he may has a different situation. So I'm, he should. Yeah. But he still 
He still Played took it care of that first. It, absolutely. Yeah. And that's the point I'm making to why I'm proud of him. It gave it, it gave me a blueprint to go on that when I get in my feelings about something. Yeah, yeah. Now, I mean, I always thought Shannon Sharp was one of the best commentators in the game right now, too, man. And, I mean, he was pretty much dominating the game as far as commentating football and then sports in general. Mm -hmm. uh, Skip, I never really dug too deep into Skip to see exactly how bad he was. I just felt like, you know, Skip was just going to always play the bad cop. I felt like Skip was there to get his bad cop on every time. And you know something, to be you, you're absolutely right. And we do the same thing on certain topics. So yeah. I will, you and I will sit here. We know that, like I said, for an example, we know that we both like Jordan. Yeah. But one of us got to take LeBron <laughs> make an argument for him because there are millions of people that like LeBron. Exactly. One of us has to take the argument for Kobe Bryant. Come on. Shaquille O'Neal, Wilt Chamberlain. Even if before that camera comes on, Everybody me and you pound Jordan. and say it's Jordan. <laughs> but, there are, but there are millions of people that, that follow these other people. So you, yeah. might, you might say, Wick, on this one right here, even though we get let's flip for it. So and then I, what if I was to say that Skip was just pandering to the black necks and the red? And I'm and I'm glad you said that because because some of the stuff he may have, but then there's a line that crosses to where you really are. Yeah. See, we can play it. You understand <laughs> what I'm saying? I could sit here. We just had a, a, a argument the other the other day with Jody Breeze where, yeah. where we talked about Jordan and and LeBron. Yeah. And everybody knows Jordan is my favorite. Yeah. Everybody that knows me. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Before the show, we we we, we talked about it. Yeah. You know. Um. And that people come in the comments, man. You know, we, that's me pandering. Yeah. But I don't hate LeBron enough to where. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a personal attack on him because Jody is sitting here yeah. going with with Jordan, yeah. and even though I feel the same way, now I just go all, out of bounds on LeBron. Yeah. Well, you know I think I think he you know yeah. uh, his mama ugly. I mean, well, yeah. You see, you see what I'm saying? See, certain stuff that that you're not just pandering anymore. Yeah. Now I can I know how to pander with the best of them. I could be sit right here and oh man, uh, Jordan, y'all fans that mad because LeBron he won over here. And for all the people that say that he made a dream team with Miami, Kevin Garnett them did it first in Boston. Paul Pierce, yeah. Ray Allen, and Kevin Garnett. Yeah. And when when when, when um, Kevin Durant went and did it, it wasn't a problem. Yeah. Every team has had a dream team and ha has had uh, uh, th uh, the big three. That pretty much has won champ. Dennis Rodman, Scottie Pippen, and Michael Jordan were a big three. And they still had Ron Hopper and Kukos. You also, LeBron has won championships in three different cities. Absolutely. So people always say, so, so they'll make an argument that well, if you win in one, if you win in one city, that means more than winning in three. Well, what? Who just said that? <laughs> what did that come from? Well, you on. got to be great, you got to win all five of your championships with the Atlanta Hawks. <laughs> Hell no, that ain't the case, man. Correct. So, um, my thing is, I think that Shannon, you know, everybody that 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 hadn't followed him should follow him. And he got up out of there the right way. He did it the right way. He got another, you know, um, another company or something that he's going to go sign with. I'm going to follow Shannon Sharp. I only watch that channel and that show because of Shannon Sharp, me personally. Okay. That's why I'm going to leave it at. Hey, man, y'all hit them comments. Let us know how y'all feel. Do you feel like, uh, you know, uh, Shannon just got tired of dealing with Skip stuff, so he left? Yeah, well, like I said, I think it's both of them. I mean, we could say that he ha he left because of a new opportunity or he left because of he got tired of Shannon, but I think it's a little bit of both. That's yeah. what I'm thinking. So y'all let us know. Uh, did he leave because he just strictly for because he got a new opportunity somewhere or because he, you know, his contract is wide and he said, you know what, I ain't, re I ain't re up with this guy. Yeah, yeah. And how do y'all feel about Skip? Do y'all feel like Skip is just an undercover crazy man or do you feel like he's just playing bad cop? Hit the comments. Holla at y'all in a minute, man. Be high radio shouted. OG Gangsta Wick. Galaxy Wick. Holla at y'all in a minute. We go. Yes, sir. <laughs>